Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I was a kid, we had nothing but uh, Apple computers in our grade school. Actually, we had Apple Computer <laughs> and Apple IIe. And um, didn't really do anything with it other than play Oregon Trail with a keyboard. Didn't have a mouse. No GUI. And then in uh, high school, we had, I think, well, no, I don't think we had any Macs in the high school. We had a handful of PCs. Not really any Macs, though. But then in college, we had a mix between PCs and Macs. But still, growing up, y y you kind of had it in your mind that Macs were for schools and PCs were for home users. It's just kind of, it was just understood, right? That was it. Now, I graduated with a degree in English education. That's my background. I should be a teacher. I, I guess I kind of am, only instead of teaching with a blackboard, I am now teaching with a keyboard and mouse or touchpad sometimes. Got an email, a very thought-provoking email, from Robert Hunter, who is a subscriber on YouTube. He says, I've been watching your switch from PC to Mac as your main computer. I recently made the switch from PC to Mac myself, but this email is not about individuals switching to Mac. It's about education switching to Mac. And I was taken aback when I read that. Because I had thought, well, isn't Apple still going after the education market? I guess not. I mean, Apple might as well rename themselves the iPod company. Currently, I'm studying IT at the University in Queensland, Australia. Although when I look around the classroom, I see half the students typing up their notes on MacBooks. Everything we learn has to specifically do with Windows-based machines, aka PCs. It's been this way for the last 10 to 15 years at least, as far as I can remember. I learned the Windows way of doing things all the way through primary school, elementary school in the States, and high school as well. I just always accepted that's the way it was in school. They teach Windows because that's what everyone has in their homes. Nowadays, it's not really the case. More people still use Windows machines, more than Macs, but if I look around the classroom and see at least a dozen MacBooks, then that tells me it's probably time to start incorporating Macs into computer education. The students are using them and the teachers are using them. I found it amusing the other day in class that our teacher hooked his Mac up to the projector screen and used parallels to show us how to do something on Windows XP. More and more people are Macs. Is it time for schools to make the switch too? I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Should schools start incorporating Macs into computer education? Do you think that with more and more people switching to Mac, they are going to have to teach both Windows way and the Mac way of doing things? Or has Microsoft got such a tight grip on many educational facilities that schools will never do anything but Windows, at least while Microsoft is still around? Share your thoughts. Well, first, uh, Robert, I appreciate this email on so many levels. Uh, one, it's a great discussion point. And two, it's a great discussion point. Uh, well, and for other reasons, but it's... This is a thought-provoking email, and of course, opinions are going to fly. Uh, as I said before, I am by trade an educator. I couldn't actually get along in schools uh, because of the politics of the situation. It kind of kept me from wanting to stay in education, at least inside of um, institutions, where I would have likely become institutionalized. But to me, it's not just about Mac versus PC, because it isn't. It's about teaching people how to do things a different way. And I don't mean a different way as in a different operating system, just to make them understand, or to help them understand, there are many ways to skin a cat. And it's not just Windows versus OS X. In my opinion, I would not only present Windows, but OS X and Linux as well. It's not a Mac versus PC thing. Now, politically speaking, I'm sure that the school district can't afford to upgrade their entire infrastructure. It's understandable. But as you pointed out, some teachers have Macs and students do as well. So uh, get your students involved with the educational process. If the curriculum dictates this is the way you do it in Windows, maybe you as a teacher, if you're watching this video, don't understand how to do it in the Mac. Don't fear that. If one of your students knows how to do it, let him or her teach how to do it on a Mac. In some cases, you may find it's easier. 
In other cases, you may find it's more difficult. Then, you never know, the classroom may have a Linux geek in there as well. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I know people half my age know twice as much as I do about Linux. So, let them teach. Turn your students into teachers. That's the beauty of the internet is anybody has the ability to be a teacher. But in a classroom construct, it's important to not be biased one way or another. Because in some cases, many of the kids, or well, just students in general, I mean, it could be college students as well, non-trads, doesn't matter, they may never care what operating system they use. They just want to know it works, right? You still owe it to them to teach them about hardware and software, proprietary and open source, the, the evolution, how this is all kind of coming together, not the boring stuff that sits in history books. We are in the middle of history. And if you don't know, maybe one of your, well, colleagues knows, you think creatively, you're a teacher. You don't just owe it to yourself, you owe it to your students. So even if Macs aren't reintroduced into the classroom, if they're not already there, yes, they should be, but with equal footing as Windows and Linux. And if the district isn't going to do it, what's the harm in teaching someone else someone, something new? Especially if you're in computer education. Especially if it's your job to teach them about computers or technology in general. Half the kids already got them. Take advantage of that fact. Give them extra credit for lending you their, their, their Mac to play with or to mess around with. Trust me, you're never too old to learn something new. It's equal to bring. It's letting them understand that it's not, this is the only way. It's, you can do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Teach them choice. You don't say you can do it any way you want to do it. But give them a choice. Who knows? Maybe they're going to, you know, be inside an environment where they just can't stand OS X. And Windows works better for them. Or Linux works better for them. How are they going to know? If you don't illuminate the path, they're never going to see it. But I can tell you this. Again, one of the reasons why I did not pursue a career as a teacher in the traditional sense is because of administration and the politics of education. You're going to have to likely circumvent infrastructures. But you're a teacher. You can do it. You can do it. You can figure it out. And if you're biased, you have no you have no place in education we're all biased but I'm saying like you say ah oh, forget it Macs are stupid you don't belong you, you certainly don't belong in a classroom teaching uh, people about computers I think yeah I think hopefully you know what I'm saying and if it didn't come out right I apologize and if it sounds like oh well, easy for you to say Chris you're not doing it well I, I did do it I got I kind of got in trouble for doing it but I did it anyway. But that was my conviction. I believed in it strongly. Very strongly. Of course, you're not going to learn unless you want to learn. So you have to decide as a teacher, as an educator, are you still willing to learn? Who knows? You may just like it more. You may like Windows more than a Mac. You may like Mac more than Windows. You may like Linux better than the rest of them and anything else. Especially after you see Compiz Fusion. It's hard not to like Compiz Fusion, let me tell you. That'll get your kids' attention. So, uh, that's my opinion. Um, should they be incorporated? Yes, although it's never likely to happen in an official capacity. The responsibility is up to the computer teacher. So let me know what you think. Email me. Uh, my uh, email address is chris at perillo.com if you are a teacher. If 
you've got some uh, battle stories to share, how you're pulling it off, uh, I think that uh, this is a very interesting discussion, and a lot of opinions are going to fly around. But I, I don't, honestly, I, 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 I'm sure someone's going to point out where I'm wrong. But what does the chat room think? Am I right or am I wrong? Saying that it needs to be egalitarian. You need to show uh, like every side of the coin as, as, as humanly possible. Well, they're in agreement with me. And I know we have uh, young and old in the chat room. It's fun to learn. So long as you got a good teacher. And that's why I'm not teaching. Because I'm not a good teacher. I'm a talker. Now, if you want to see me talking or sitting around in my chair, chatting away with hundreds, if not thousands of people, we're streaming live video out on the internet all the time. We're typically talking tech. Sometimes we talk about uh, issues with education, Macs, PCs. It's tech. It's fun. It's education. It's learning. It's trying something new. It's trying something different. The day I stop learning, the day I stop teaching, is the day I die. So if you want to see that happen, it, it may actually unfold live on camera, never know. I'm 34 years old, I think I got a few years left. The website, in case you want to see that streaming live, is open all the time. Right now, as a matter of fact, stop by, say hello. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.